YouTube, what is up? Scott here from Top Tour Sports Cards. Today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a package I sent to PSA. Uh, it got rejected. I sent this out on April 4th or 5th. Um, see, it was returned on the 21st. It should have arrived in two to three days. So by the 12th, I went to the post office. Uh, they showed that it had made it from my house to Illinois, which is only a couple hours away, and they had no more tracking on it. It, it hadn't moved since then. Uh, I went in a second time a few days later. They had no information on it. And then I that night I received an email from PSA stating that they rejected the package with a picture of the package. Um, PSA's policy, which is a good policy, if they get a package that looks like this, uh, they don't open it. They send it back to you because the cards could be damaged. And once they open it, if you have any insurance on it, uh, you're kind of screwed. So they sent the package back to me. You can see it got wet. I'm hoping that it didn't get so wet that it damaged the cards. Uh, it got crushed. Um... You can see by that label, water made it down to there. Uh, the bottom of the box feels like it's gotten wet. So I know one thing that I've never thought of is after I package my cards, I'm going to start adding them into a Ziploc bag. Uh, hopefully these aren't screwed. So um, there's 15 cards in here. I'll show you some of the cards. Uh, in my mind, you know, you don't know what it's worth until it comes back graded. Well, you know what it's worth raw, but most of the cards I sent in here, I think have have a really good shot. See, even that still feels wet. Has had a really good shot to ten, or I wouldn't have sent them in. Um, so I, 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 in my mind, in my opinion, there's about six thousand dollars worth of cards in here. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but this isn't feeling too good. Uh, this has been wet this far. You can see the box coming apart. Ah, I'm nervous as can be. I had some bubble wrap on top. That wasn't there, so that's been wet. Some more bubble wrap. And it should be the shipping papers, and those got wet. And on top of that this is the cards and that's gotten wet how did, uh, this had to be just getting poured on or something i don't know see the bottom the bottom looks dry well there's only one way to find out open them up and see But yeah, this is the list of the cards that were in there. That's bled all the way through to that cardboard. Let's take a look at the cards. Uh, there's no moisture in there. I don't know if you've seen moisture in, in these packs. Whew. You can usually see the moisture. That's the top card would probably have a chance to be the worst uh, it's pulling out nice and easy if that had gotten moisture in it I'm sure it would be stuck man I'd say I lucked out but I didn't luck out if I'd have been luckier if it would have just made it to PSA uh, like it should have but that is great news um wow like i said you can see how they're packaged they're packaged really good so i wasn't too worried about the box being crushed but i was worried about the possibility of the water and then making water making it down all the way to this piece of cardboard i think next time after these are cardboarded and i will throw this in a ziploc bag like i say you would never think you'd have to worry about something getting wet at least in my opinion i wouldn't be worried about it i i wouldn't think that 
the United States Postal Service is throwing them in a river or a lake, but I guess occasionally they do. But since I got them out, we'll just scroll through the rest of them. Uh, Jamar Chase on campus, Kai Havertz, Bundesliga, Tops Chrome, number to 50. Um, obviously, those two are big cards. This is a this is a take a shot in the dark card. Sometimes I like to gamble. A uh, card looks like it could ten. I think Trey Lance is going to start. Um, and it's the pink camo, so I figured why not? If he does start, maybe a lot of those haven't been graded because people are waiting, and maybe I can get that on the market quick. There's a '94 finest Jordan refractor with the coating still on it. Uh, three Shohei Chrome rookies. This is a card I pulled, so it has sentimental value to me. I pulled this back in '91. Michael Jordan. If if it was if I thought it was going to come back a, a eight or seven or a, I wouldn't send it in. But I've went over these cards and I'm hoping that at least gets a nine. Uh, another card I pulled back in '90. This is the uh, Impel Marvel Comics Superheroes. I want to say it's '90. Could have been '91. No '90. Pulled that myself. I pulled this in '89. Uh, so no matter what grade this comes back, this is going to stay PC. I've had this card since '89. Uh, Arenado, Chrome. I had a Tops Chrome. I had a Bowman Chrome, but I didn't think it would ten, so I wasn't sending that in. This is the Chronicles, but this is a select black Cade Cunningham. So that's not on the card. That's on the holder. Caleb Farley, nothing, nothing big, just a base, but it is the one of one. So. It's the first one of one I've pulled, so I wanted to get that graded. Anthony Edwards debut Genesis. Uh, I pulled this myself. I had it at a couple shows and it didn't sell. And uh, I had a price on it that I didn't want to come down from because I thought it would 10. So after the second show, I just decided I'm going to send it in. And uh, I already had this sent in before the Debo Samuel news, but. I think Trey, Trey Sermon could have a really good upside. And if Debo gets traded, it's going to lend even more. But a patch auto Spectra, uh, number to 10. There's a number on there somewhere right there. So those are the cards I'm sending in. But more importantly, thank gosh, none of them were damaged. So uh, I don't know, guys. Drop a comment. Let me see what you think. How do you think this got so damaged and what? They just leave it outside in the rain? Uh, like I said, it should have taken two to three days to get there, and it took two weeks. I think what after it got wet, they were trying to figure out where the heck it went to. So, good news. The cards are safe. We're going to get them repackaged and sent back. Uh, hopefully better this time. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Have a good one. Happy collecting.